Hello students, we're going to work on our opposite skull again today, and I'm taking a quick look at the criteria. I want to see if you can use complementary colors, design a skull shape with symmetrical collage, and then add interest to any empty areas for your composition. So last time, if you were all caught up, you cut a skull shape out of paper and then you cut the three main features. When you flip the skull shape out, those three main features stay exactly where you need them and then you can carefully place the tips of the mirror images so that they're barely touching kind of like a checkerboard we'll see that a mirror opposite image is created with your two colors it looks like you did double the amount of work that you actually did that's what's so cool about symmetry is you can do a design so easily so before you dive in and start adding any more detail, you should play in your sketchbook a little bit with things that you might want to go in the eye socket, things you might want to go on the cheekbone, or designs that might interest you for the forehead or chin. Wherever you have an empty spot, you'll be adding interest. Do not use your pencil for this project if you can help it. The cool thing about papel picado or painted paper is that it's not covered with pencil line. It's very clean and these experts did intricate designs. One famous person who draws with scissors is Henri Matisse. He used no pencil but only drew with his scissors. That was a term he liked to use a lot. So without pencil, he just connected with the paper and his scissors and then carefully laid it out. So for your paper cutting, I want you to trust your instincts and using what you've already sort of thought about in your sketchbook, go ahead and cut out some detail, any place where there is a big plain paper. So I just found on my cheekbone a place where I could design something, cut it out and then placed the opposite on the other half. Whenever you're cutting something out from the middle of a paper shape in this project, it's fine to cut a trail. See the little trail under my heart? Because it's all gonna get glued down in the end. Very important is keep your workspace nice and neat. Keep all of your pieces laying nicely on your background so that nothing gets lost. Someone even just walking by you could blow a little piece of paper that you desperately need to keep and will have a very difficult time recreating. So keep your workspace very organized. And my advice is to keep all of your pieces laying in one area. You might want to add a detail that makes it look like your skull has teeth or an opening in their mouth. I decided I wanted to fill this space and I added something kind of like the bridge of a nose shape. You can leave this part empty or you can add something that you like. Everyone's skull will have different bland areas that we want to add detail and make more interesting. If you have a really big empty space between the nose and the mouth, you might want to think about some kind of mustache or a special line or shape between the nostrils and the opening of the mouth. And so once you're done with all your cutting, it's time to glue stick. Glue stick is the best option for keeping two regular pieces of paper stuck together. I start with the big outside piece, make sure it's squared up. And this is why a project that's pretty straightforward with cutting and pasting is a project I keep for fourth grade. By fourth grade, you guys can kind of keep organized and do a really nice job of holding all your assets before gluing them down. So everything was cut out before I figured out where it should go and how I can keep it mirrored and then neatly, patiently gluing things down. This is hard even for a grown-up to just decide where everything goes and don't lose it and glue it piece by piece. Something that feels like what would normally be smart in real life, which is to glue 
everything as you cut it out, you just can't do it for this because you need everything to stay in pieces until the very last step. So you always can keep cutting or adding detail until the last step. For a really thin piece of paper, you can run it over the top. See how I just did that? Of your glue stick. And even mine, which is pretty simple, has a lot of little pieces to glue down. And we'll fast forward to the end of the project when everything has been glued into place and you can see the finished result. So now you're gonna evaluate yourself. Did you use complementary colors that are opposite from each other? With a blue and orange one, I did. With one I've done earlier, this purple and orange one, I actually did not. I chose two colors, but decided to um, not use complementary. And so now I'm showing in my journal that I can use complementary colors and still get a check plus for this and put, but I chose orange and purple. But right there, I do show that I can use complementary colors correctly. I know purple and yellow and orange and blue are correct. Finish scoring yourself and then you can show Miss Yao your art and your checklist and then you can do the early finisher activity.